Welcome to Wrinkle Society of Hope. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for continuing to support Wrinkles. Today, you are going to hear an amazing story from one of our Wrinkles women. And if you would like, please hit subscribe and share our Wrinkles channel. Hit that notification bell so you can hear about the new stories that come forward. And we are also on Apple Podcasts and we are on Spotify. So you can listen in if you're unable to view the YouTube channel. I'm so happy you're here and I hope I get an interview with you. I am here again with this beautiful woman here and yeah guess what it's my birthday and I just thought it would be befitting to have someone who will help us out <laughs> as we go older and grow older in our aging so today as she grace us in our wrinkles Wednesday it is my 45th birthday so I just had to bring this beautiful woman to the Wrinkles family so she can help me grow more beautiful in my age as she will help you. So please introduce yourself to the Wrinkles family today. Thank you so much, Summer, for providing this platform, having me as a guest on Wrinkles. I am so honored and I'm so excited and happy blessed birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Aisha. I am the owner and founder of Sparkle and Shine Skincare. We bring out that inner shine you've always had within. We specialize in corrective skincare and skin coaching. I'm also known as Yo FD Auntie because I tell it like it is. I give it to you straight, no filter. I'm that auntie with in the beauty industry and self-care, self-love. I'm going to teach you how to take care of your skin from inside out. Yes, that's why I had to have you today. Sparkle and shine, you have done since the day I met you. I'm so excited to have you here and that more people can get this kind of information. But before we get there, as I see no wrinkles because Sparkle and shine, you are, What would you, how would you feel if you got a physical wrinkle? I would take it with a grain of salt as it's part of the process. It's part of the process of what our physical body does um, as we age. Yeah, it's so true. It's just every step of life, right? Absolutely. And I think that as you get older and you see the wrinkles, it's something that's going to happen. It's part of the process, as I mentioned. And you have to learn how to react and embrace that wrinkle, whether it's on your face or just in life in general. So true. So true. And as we embrace those wrinkles that come our way, can you speak about a wrinkle that you had to kind of prepare yourself for brace for that you had to press through in your life? Oh, there's, there's quite a few. There is quite a few wrinkles. One was one major one that, um, happened to me well not happened to me but my son what got incarcerated at age 16 and he got sentenced to a 22 year sentence at 16 years old um and that was very heartbreaking for me it was very heartbreaking and i was young at the time um so i didn't know how to process it I did a lot of um, self-sabotage. I blamed myself a lot. And it also, and when you blame yourself for things that happen that's traumatic in your life, it tends to open up doors for other unfortunate situations to come in. And it also allows others to, to judge you and to treat you a certain type of way because of how you're feeling about yourself. That's why it's important that self-love is very important because when you self-love, it doesn't allow others to just come in and treat you any type of way because that self-love is going to, you know, protect you with a lot of, you know, um, 
individuals treating you bad because they see, okay, she's treating herself bad. She don't self love. So we're not going to love her either. So true. So true. What would you tell yourself looking back on that moment on the time that you were pressing through that? What advice would you give yourself? Um, I would give myself to have grace on myself to pray through the process because at that time I wasn't praying through the process. I was just go going through the emotion. Um, and once I began to implement God and prayer into my daily life, things tend to not hurt as bad. And it also provided a lot of clarity and a lot of understanding. I love that. I think sometimes we say, I'm a pray or I'm gonna, I know I can pray myself to get through it, but do we actually pray to get through right. it? You know, I, I know you, you hear people say all the time, I'll pray for you, but right. do they actually pray? Uh, you know, it's not just one prayer and then you're like, okay, God, help me through this. And you keep walking. It's you pray until something happens, push, right? You have to push right. and press through with prayer to get to where until the process is over or how you get through the process, helping you get through the process. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, That's why the prayer is, is very important. And forgiveness, forgiveness is also very important. And forgiveness starts with self. Yes. Because I mentioned before, when my son, you know, got incarcerated, um, I did a lot of blaming myself. Mm -hmm. So I had to start the forgiveness from here, from, from, from myself. Yes. And I think so many parents do that. They they put the blame on them when something happens and you know, you can raise your child as great as you want to. You can lead them in the right direction, but they have to make their own path. But as parents, sometimes we're like, it's me. I must've did something wrong. Why are they not doing this? What, what, what would you tell those parents that will continuously do that to themselves? What would, advice would you give them? My advice would be get, around community get around a tribe of people that will support you that will speak greatness to you because sometimes you think it's your family that's going to be there supportive of you and at times those those are the the unfortunate circles that implement negativity and um hurtful uh conversations and hurtful um, acts to, to drive you further into feeling bad about yourself, guilty about yourself. Um, that's why I said get around a support system that genuinely wants to um, support you with prayer, with positive conversations, with positive um, activities, implementing, um, checking on you. You know, surround yourself around greatness and take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, like uh, pray, meditate. Also, you know, being mindful of the conversations you're having. Just try to overall get out of your feelings and understand, trust God's, God's plan. Trust his plan and his will. And understand that it's, it's not, don't blame yourself. You can't, you can't stay in that place because it will drive you to a place that's very dark. That's my advice to parents that, you know, their children has drifted off into unfortunate circumstances. Don't blame yourself. You have to trust God's way. Yes, I agree. I, I really do. And the woman that you are today, the past and the, and the, corners and things that you've had to press through. Let's say you got a t-shirt made today. What would that t-shirt say as a representative of the woman that you are today? Live, love, and laugh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what that t-shirt would say. Yes. Live, love, and laugh. Yes. Because life is not long. 
We are here for an assignment. Find that assignment. Love that assignment. Embrace that assignment. And laugh. <laughs> laugh through the process because you can't take everything so seriously. Mm. You can't. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> And as you're living, I know you are doing so much out here for the community. Tell Thank me you. what you are doing to help those people live, laugh, and love in this community. Um, what I do in my community, I'm part of an organization uh, called Tina Marie and the Bridge Builders. And these, this is an amazing community that um, as women, middle-aged women, we all have wrinkles. We all have those wrinkles and we're a support system um, for each other. Um, I recently spoke at a motivational speakers event telling a little bit about my story and some other things that I had to press through with some wrinkles to inspire women that be a sister to your younger self. Forgive yourself. It's, that's very important. Um, love your inner child. Um, so what we do in the community is we volunteer, um, you know, our time um, providing back to other women that went through other unfortunate things like donating um, food, donating our time. I also offer donations to um, women that, you know, had a situation. I offer complimentary skin services. That's one thing because sometimes a facial is what you need to just get away from the world. Mm -hmm. When you come to me, you get comfortable, you turn your phone off and you drift off. And my anointing hands do the rest. <laughs> I love it. Tell us more about those anointed hands that I see and hear <laughs> so many testimonies of the blessings that you have blessed people with. So my motto is bring out that inner shine you've always had within because we I believe that we all have some form of an inner shine. All of our shine is different in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe our shine is different colors as well. So what I do is I just basically remind women and men because I believe that skin services is just not a woman thing. It's a human thing. I also deal with a lot of teens. Mm -hmm. Teens have the, you know, they have the acne, teen acne, because their hormones are all over the place mm -hmm. and they're going through puberty. So what that does is that invites acne. And then we have social media, which makes everything look so pretty and so perfect. And it's not. So I just basically coach the teens that, you know, to believe in themselves. I tell them that they're unique. You know, when they come to me, it's just not about a facial. I, 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 I pour into people. That's why it, this, what I do is very, I'm very passionate about what I do. It's a form of also a form of ministry for self-care and self-love. Love it. Love it. Now, how can they get in touch with you? What services should we uh, come in and get first? Tell us some oh, steps. I'm glad you asked. That's a great question. So I recommend there's two things you can do. If you're not located in Arizona, I can still help you with your skin. Because I do also do virtual consultations. I'm a skin coach. So um, I will coach you on what products you need wh while you're at home because you use your products every day. So that's very important home care. So we do a virtual consultation. I look at your skin. We talk about your diet. We talk about your lifestyle, um, your, um, how much water you're drinking. If you're wearing sunscreen, um, you can do a virtual consultation or you can come on in to, to my office, which is located inside of Dr. Nancy's Integrative Medicine in Scottsdale, Arizona. And you're, you're going to book a first time client facial. That's what you will book first. And when you come in, I have you fill out a consultation form prior. That way, when you come to me, I have an idea of your goal. 
of what you want to work on. I also want to know about your medical history. I want to know what medications you're on because that, that also plays a major factor in your skin of what's going on internally. I even talk about, I even get even closer. Like I want to know, is your bowel movements healthy? Because that plays a big factor in your skin as well because your gut is like the satellite to all of the other organs that you have. So we do an intense, consultation and then I do the rest and then you go home and you do the rest with your home care and if you are eating foods that's a lot of sugar a lot of grease I help coach you on you know what foods to eat to help with better assisting your skin wow that's mm -hmm. a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, but, no, but it's, it's, I mean that's a lot that you're offering you know, I'm just thinking you scrubbing my face. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what a lot of people think. Oh, a facial is just a facial. No, that's possible. A facial could be just the facial, but I take it to a whole different level with it. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. And it's so important. It's funny that you mentioned that I have a new teenager. He just turned 13. And of course, whoo. We are getting the acne and it's different from when I have, I had, I didn't have a lot of acne when I was younger, but I remember my brother had acne and I can see the social media, the way things are, you know, nowadays, how that's affecting him because he's getting this new acne. And I, was like, I don't know what to do about your face, your boy one and two, you know, I'm giving him these things over the counter. So now I know. I can bring them there and he can actually Absolutely. get them education. The education. The um, also, not only the education, but a lot of times the over-the-counter products, they're not working mm. Th because we have layers of the skin. So those products are manufactured and designed to only go to a certain layer of the skin and then it plateaus. It's not going to clean anymore. So that's when I recommend coming to a professional licensed esthetician because we have different modalities we have uh, different professional products that goes a little bit deeper into those layers and kind of clean everything up wow well, and it could be knowledge <laughs> right it could be something so simple as his diet or his pillowcase or his phone or that jack-in-the-box finger um chicken fingers that he likes or the Chick-fil-A, you know, those little, you know, tweaking out those little lifestyle changes. Um, they help out a lot. And I, I kind of coach them through that as well. I love it. Lifestyle change. I mean, that's, yeah. that's key. That's key in all of our lives. It sounds like even you're saying with us adults who, you know, need to do better with our skins, there's lifestyle changes we probably need to make as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. So are there websites for people to go to that they can order the virtual consults? Absolutely. Are, okay. Go to uh, sparkle and shine skincare.com to uh, book your virtual consultation, or you can find me on Instagram at underscore underscore sparkle and shine. You can also find me on Facebook at sparkle and shine skincare, or you can just Google my name, Aisha Wedderburn, and it will come up and all of my contact information will come up. And if you have questions, shoot me a message and I'll be more than happy to answer. All right. Well, as you see, if you want to sparkle and shine like this <laughs> lovely woman here, all Thank these you. links that are coming across here please hit her up. There's so many ways that you could contact her. And, you know, just even myself, I know I, I saw her face. I saw her products. I went to her website and I was like, oh my goodness. I have so many people that I've read their testimonies that she's changed their lives. So let her change your life with lifestyle change. I mean, you're not just getting a face scrub, which I thought, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you I'm, are getting glad, I'm glad that verify that because that's what a lot of people think oh they're just gonna put some lotion on my face and send me on my way no it i get really into now there i'm not saying that that doesn't happen yes yeah, it's yeah. possible it does but with me you're in good hands 
Magic. Literally. <laughs> Magic hands, it sounds like for sure. So we are hands. definitely gonna I take, take oil and I bless my hands every morning because these are my instruments. Mm. This is what what God has has blessed me with, and I'm so grateful for it. Can I ask what made you go this direction in your life? So I knew I had a calling on helping people. I just didn't know what it was. I thought it was, I wanted to order, open up a shelter for battered women. Mm -hmm. That's what I kept hearing. And then I was like, mm. so then I started, I became a makeup artist. And I start, I would go to shelters and do makeup for homeless women, you know, and go to shelters for battered women and do their makeup for me to get practice, to get good and to help them feel pretty, to yeah. feel pretty and feel good about themselves. So I wanted to take it a little bit deeper. I said, okay, let me go, go get my license because I wanted to also do makeup for like on set of, you know, like, like shows and things like that. So I went to aesthetic school and I love the way Skin works. Skin is like a whole different universe, the way it works and the way it functions. And when I would do facials, I would just feel this overwhelming sense of, of peace and calmness. And that I was like, this is it. And then I started to see how I began to change others and build their self-esteem. So it was just like, it, it makes my heart smile. So that's what it is. I can see the love. I can see the love. And Thank I just have to ask, because I, I mean, I'm always curious, you know, it's, it's something that is not big in our community. Oh, no. No. Oh, um, no. Growing up, um, I got into skincare because my mom, she was a Mary Kay consultant. Mm -hmm. So when she would have these Mary Kay parties, I would get so excited because I would help her set up the little trays and get her little um, refreshments together and greet the ladies when they came in and handed them their, their booklets. So that's how I kind of, you know, grew up learning about makeup and skincare. Mm. But, but normally in our community, it's, it's not talked about too much. Like facials were only, you know, uh, advertised for rich white women. Yeah. And that's not it. No. That's why I normalize that facials is for men, women, and teens. Because it's important to clean out those pores. Yeah. And kind of resurface. Like the power of one facial. Once you get one facial, you'll be hooked. <laughs> I bet. I bet. And I, I have to tell a little bit. I went on a cruise for my honeymoon. Okay. And they had these little, you know, uh, you can come free and they'll tell you about all these products, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, they just want to sell these products. But what was kind of alarming to me is I'm not, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So okay. when they mentioned certain things like exfoliate this and do this and serum. And I was like, what? <laughs> too, but too many steps. Too yeah. Many I was like, what is all that? But it was crazy that I didn't know that these products was even out there that I, you know, that they take care of our face. Absolutely. Yes. And when you come to me with my clients, I always educate them on what products to use. Like, I'm not going to recommend a product that's not for your skin. I'm just not going to do that. We only, we only recommend products that's designed for your skin and to help you with your goals. Love it. Love it. Well, I can't wait to come in. And I'm, excited. I'm excited. And so that you can work on my new birthday face, my new 45 <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> and can't wait till you help all these people that are listening. Get your consult in at least. And that Absolutely. way you will know that she's the real deal. I know yes, that I, for sure. Yes, I am. And I will, I will broaden your mind on a whole different realm on how to look at your skin and how to take care of your skin as well. 
Yes, can't wait. I'm so excited you came today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I love talking about skin. I love talking about self-care, self-love. And if you see, if you watch this birthday uh, live interview and you book an appointment, make sure you mention wrinkles and go ahead and take off 10% at checkout when you come in for your service. Okay. You hear it. You heard it from her. That's right. So you have no excuse and self-care is love. So let's love ourselves to take care of ourselves, to get the education, to make the lifestyle changes so we can sparkle and shine. Right. Hey, I love that. I love that. And when you love yourself, everyone else is going to have to follow through with yes. loving you back. That's right. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Love you. <laughs> Bye, Rico's. <laughs>